Mr. Speaker, I rise today to celebrate the incredible life of a great man. The Reverend Billy Graham spent his life serving God and proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many who heard him share the good word, consider him to be America's pastor. But throughout his life, he was always a humble and faithful servant. Decades ago, I had the opportunity to attend a Billy Graham crusade at Notre Dame with my family. I'll never forget seeing so many people having the opportunity to hear the message that God loves you. A very simple message. No matter who you are, no matter your background, Billy would declare, God loves you. Billy Graham brought this message of compassion, hope, and the power of God's grace to millions of people from all walks of life. He also brought it to the leaders of the free world as a friend and counselor to the presidents of both parties. Tomorrow, he'll lie in honor in the Capitol Rotunda, a fitting honor for him as we honor our nation's leaders, not just because he changed history, but because he changed our hearts. His greatest legacy is the people he helped to be closer to the Lord. Mr. Speaker, Billy Graham is at home now. We give thanks to God that he raised up such a humble man with a servant's heart, and we pray that his powerful message will live on. Thank you.